All right, so yeah, that guy did have absolutely nothing. Was just trying to stall. Uh, yeah, keeping this. It's not good, but so we're playing against uh, green, white, and metal craft. But anyway, yeah, he was stalling. He had nothing. I um, logged off and logged back on, and he had passed priority. And then I activated my vector asp, and he let it resolve, and then waited another eight minutes after it had resolved to try and uh, get me to forget which asp I had activated because Magic Online uh, doesn't really doesn't indicate which one has infect. So he was trying to trick me into activating the same one twice and then killing me, blowing up my board with nine poison counters. But unluckily for him, I'm not a giant idiot. And so I was able to remember which asp I had activated, and yeah, he died with presumably with three lands in hand. Um, after trying to stall and scumbag me out. So, if anybody has any words of support for him, then uh, I'm pretty sure you can see his his screen name in the last video when I checked his profile. Uh, but anyway, so we're against Green White Metalcraft. He had a, a couple of Wardens, a Chrome Steed, so like it, his four drop slots pretty full, a lot of fatties, uh, a Quarter Shield, Glintock Idol. Um, that's why I kept this otherwise suspect hand, is because the, the Fallen is just really, really good against his deck. Uh, not gonna attack into the Glintock Idol. I am, however, going to play this card that he. He's going to have to have a Warden to beat, and then I'm going to have a Tumble Magnet. At six. So yeah, I didn't see much of his deck, I uh, only watched a couple turns. He has a Palladium Mirror, which is pretty friggin' scary out of this deck. Uh, this guy is decent against uh, most poison decks, but not this one in particular. It's kind of an aggro attack. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a play, so he's just going to block there. It's fine then. Oh, I'll give it a counter. So I guess that means he didn't have a warden, which means he's probably just dead. Uh, yeah, normally I would split because I don't think my deck's very good. It's as I've said multiple times, it's got too many four drops. Um, and normally I would split because his deck looked good, uh, but since I'm recording. Figured, you know, give the people uh, full value of every match. Um, doesn't make any sense to bring in anything but the spell bomb, which is somewhat tempting. Mm. Not really sure what I would want to cut. Maybe it was stand death, but. Then that's actually pretty good. Uh, like, it kind of deals with a warden if it's not metal crafted. Uh, if it is metal crafted, I can still like painsmith this guy and then just stand at it, or get some value off of this thing, or you know, uh, trigon or uh, what's it called? Instill infection or knock it down. But I can't kill this guy. on the second hit. Like I have a lot of ways to make it so that it deals with the warden even if it doesn't or even if it is metal crafted. But I don't think I want to take out the withstand deaths and I'm not gonna cut anything else for the panic spell bomb. Pin Smith maybe since most of my guys are just gonna get blocked. But I kinda like the Pain Smith. 
again, it's a fine card against the Wardens. Um, he does have like two or three Origin spell bombs, which the Painsmith is really bad against, for obvious reasons, but still good with the Stinger and the Fallen, uh, Angle Angler, okay with the Sith Bearer, good with the Withstand Deaths. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and the Infiltrator's Lens. So it's like all of those cards it's good with, so I think it's worth keeping in.